raccoons. Pete in Buffalo. Hey, how's it going, guys? Still snowing up okay, there, bro. Love you. Uh, listen, yeah, when I was uh, when I was 14, my cousin, who's the same age as me, she was kidnapped too, and uh, not real kidnapped. Of course, she made the whole thing up. I mean, mm. uh, it, it, it's like this weird cry for help thing, and and you know, you were saying like all oh, the cops weren't believing it. it. It's not about like they don't think that way. It's you know, they want to convince the parents or, like, she would just broken up with her little 14-year-old boyfriend at the time and she wanted to get back. So, you know, she said that these four black guys grabbed her. Of and, course. Oh, boy. You know, of course. Threw her in a car. And, of course, she didn't remember what they looked like. It's always over the top, too, like that. Like, oh, when geez. does that ever happen? Like, the cops will be like, you know, four, okay, so four black guys grab this little 14-year-old yeah. white girl, you gotta give, throw her in a van. You gotta give, like, you gotta give credit to the cops at this point. They're onto that gag. Oh, please. Well, they they gotta be onto that gag. She actually took a knife and, like, cut herself, like, on her collarbone and said they were holding a knife to her throat, but it was, like, on her, Jeez. like, on her, it was so bizarre. Well, on the other hand, it happened the other way around with Tawana Brawley. Where she well, was blaming and, and cops and politicians oh, no, for throwing her in a bag. Oh, that happened to her. Where she, uh, uh, what, what was, uh, there was, uh, uh, what was scraped into her chest? I think they put nigga on her chest oh, and spread some cops some shit on her. <laughs> Shut up, for three. Fucking asshole. Even you don't believe that. And she that blamed shit. it on the cops and some politician. And they shoved a plunger in ass or something, right? Uh, something a plunger and then and shot, shot her 30 41 times, times or something, 41 times. <laughs> and, but, but she had. You know, two lawyers and uh, Reverend Al behind her the whole way. Even when the story fell apart, you know what it's, what's, it was still, what's, what's, we got to remember Tawana Brawley. Hey, can, I, can I challenge white society Please, on something right now? That's what oh, it just, no. it just popped in my oh, head. Oh, boy. Conspiracy Ready? Theory. Ready? Yeah. Here this we is, go. Please. Another conspiracy please. theory from can, the black man. Can white people please yeah. name me more than one black counterpart to your fucked upness. Can, well, all right. can you... <laughs> all right. And one so he makes, he makes a good point. Did, the, the 85 fucking white examples of murdering your wife, can you name me a second Negro other than OJ, please? Well... Or a second fake rape black girl other than Tawana Brock? Can you fucking please just once... Say other than the the one fucking. Do I thing. have to bring up poor Reginald Denny, who got the brick over the head? Are you joking? That's the only. That's All the only right. time you've seen a a a a, a, a white guy get his ass. You beat. know why, Patrice? Because it's like pointing out the sky's blue. Oh, Do I have to ass. say anything? <laughs> Let me just open the goddamn newspaper and look at a, a black guy that wrapped a girl's head up in tape here in uh, uh, that's, in, that's uh, a New legend, York. Man, that's, that's a legend. That is not. That is that they found fibers of his carpeting in his house. On the tape that was wrapped around I her head. The same CSI I, listen, shit, motherfucker. CSI is on it. Nigga, nigga, I bought a CSI carpet. CSI is on it, brother. The carpet in my house, I brought from a nigga that hangs him over a fucking, <laughs> fucking. Uh, 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 a fence on Route 440. Yeah. You don't think another person has that? That doesn't you don't matter. Think there's a killer that doesn't matter. CSI. CSI. Colored <laughs> shenanigans investigators. <laughs> That's what they look into. Carpet fibers on tape. <laughs> no, it's called cunt investigation. Come on, man. Oh. It's, uh, taking you bring place out Tawana and, uh... Brawley. We can bring out something that happened yesterday with white people, and you got to go dig back into, yesterday. The, into the nigger files I to find <laughs> <laughs> the nigger. Now that's a show I'd well, watch every Wednesday well, night. What about Sidney Poitier, <laughs> where he was? What? You know, Martin Luther King was quite a womanizer. Oh my! God. There's always got to be some. I, I I agree with just, you. I there, implore there's you, always just to got, I find, implore you. find a pattern that we, <laughs> some, gotta bring black guy, some black guys found missing on a boat. You just find ours are high profile. You you guys, the high profile ones are a little limited, but on a daily basis, there's the. You know the B movies. I forgot. We either, got the B movies. Either in the either in the Daily or the Post. Okay, there's a little picture of a um, little black girl. Yeah. Right. Just a. Uh, and and again, you know, not to get fucking fifty million people hating your guts, but this this Mamet and the the um the girl from Aruba. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, what's the her name? Who disappeared in Aruba? Uh, some, some girl. But little caption of a little dead black girl. You know, murdered. Uh -huh. no, nothing. Just maybe, almost under where it, where it says dailynews.com on the uh -huh. front page. Uh, black girl missing. It's like 
you, how can you help but think that if you're black? It's like, well, oh, my God, I remember front cover of everything for the last. The girl in Aruba was taking headlines from Iraq. Yeah. And, and, and there's, mm. there's people missing everywhere, but they make decisions. I mean, if be honest with me. Just be honest. I'll be honest. Be honest and say, okay, you know what? We just find white life to be a little more important than black life. And I might go, okay, fair enough. At least that's the truth, motherfucker. But I've don't pointed act out. like it's not racist. Or I've not pointed up. out the fact that there are plenty of missing kids. But for some reason, it's the, the little blonde girls that like get a lot of the attention uh, when they're missing and it's just on the news ad nauseum and then a little black girl's missing they flash a picture on a goddamn milk carton somewhere nothing and, and yeah. nothing nothing uh, and i you know something i i think that's uh, do i think that's racist um i don't know i think it has to do <laughs> i don't know i'm 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 being honest here i don't know if it's so much racist or just the fact that humans I don't think it's racist. Two I think are animals. I think for whatever reason, and it makes it a, a, a better story, and that's why they what? go with it. That white girl is missing? Yeah, why yeah. does that make it a better story? Uh, for the people that are watching, I guess. But that's racist. Well, just well, say that. I, that would be racist. Just say but, in this I mean, society, just be honest, that in this society, they value a little white girl's life more than they value a little black girl's no, life. Just fucking it say it, and here it'd it be fine. No, no, because here, here's the deal. People value their own more than others, and I mean black Arab, anything. Fair, every fucking fair, day, fair. every day, I listen to the news and I hear a bomb went off in Baghdad. Fifty people were dead. Honest with you, I'll be honest with you. I could give a flying fuck. Fair I enough. don't care. They show the dead bodies. Fine. I hear on the news a roadside bomb blew up. Two Marines were killed. Now right. I go, son of a bitch. That's two fair. more fucking Marines got killed. Those sons of bitch uh, insurgents got. It's. It's more our own. And since blacks make up 10% of the population, there's 10% of people that are very concerned about that black girl. 90% are going, it ain't us. It ain't well, fucking us. Now, the, I, can, I would love to think. I can deal with what you're saying. See, that's what I'm saying. This is what uh, th that bothers me about this I don't country. think it's racist as much well, as it is animalistic. But what you're saying. The tiger don't care that a gazelle is laying there fucking bleeding. And that's and that's what I mean by it just makes for an interesting story, by the way. It doesn't necessarily It makes mean for an interesting racist. story to 90% of the population. That's what, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Or whatever white is. So, now, if the news said that. I'd be happy They'd about that. that if the news, like, uh, what is her name from Aruba? I, Natalie I the, Halloway. Natalie Halloway. Okay, sorry. God damn, so, Natalie Halloway. Trying to look it up yeah, from the sure. Connecticut <laughs> Halloways. But, but that uh, during that whole stretch, the news was starting to feel the pressure. Yep. So they go, oh, uh, also there's a little nigglet in Philly missing. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, Did they put it that we, way? We found it. There's a nigglet missing. Uh, also, but we, we found a nigglet. Cause they didn't report it like that. black killers, no, they ain't as good as white killers. No, no one. <laughs> they don't have crab no baskets. No one was one of my uh, favorite black-white stories on the news. They had a lady that was the oldest woman to give birth. Right. And she was in her 60s or something, and she was white, right? And she gave birth to this kid. Everything was great. They're doing stories every freaking day, right? The next week, I think it was... A black lady beat the record. She got like nothing, nothing. and called up and said she was a crack hole. Right. right. Some she old got black nothing. crack hole gave birth. Ah, who cares? They can't stop fucking. But it's here we go. But well, it's, fam. But it's funny. The media brought us all in. Like this is very oh, interesting. Shit. This is unbelievable. This has never been done before. Blah blah blah. It's a brand new record. And then the following week, a black lady beats the record. It was like it was a. It was the last story on the news, maybe for ten seconds. No exclusive interviews so or anything with her. what do you say I'm saying... What I, do you say that is? Mm. Is that... Is that not... I don't know if it's racism myself. Like, just like I said to a lot of people, man, I'm not positively... My first instinct is to always try to accuse white people of racism. Yeah. But I always try to find a way n to say maybe it's not. But it's like, can you give me a reason... All right. Why that's not racist? I would or, love or to not say valuing white people more. I'd society. love to say yeah, it, that's just racism, but it's not that simple. We we like to think of ourselves. People love to think we're above animals. We're not. Until we bash that into our fucking heads, we're never gonna g move on. We are just another organism on this planet that uh, we're a little smarter. We figured out how to pull shit out of the dirt and make iron out of it. We can fly in fucking machines. It's a wonderful thing. But we're still animals. And we look at things based on our familiarity with each other, with our things. We are going to be more comfortable and feel more apathy 
towards something that is more like us than something that is less like us. And that's what the animal yeah, world animals, does. Animals don't do that. Yeah, they do. The other gazelles don't go. That's some fucked up shit. What happened to Frank the when the lion got his face to his face off? Look at the fucking penguin off. movie. They're looking at the dead little <clears throat> penguin baby going. Yeah, bah, they're bah. crying. They're not looking at the dead bird going. But they could give a shit about the dead bird. They care about We're their little penguin babies. We care about each other. Do you think that? Uh, way on to something Do you think here. that black people gave any bit of a shit? About Jean Benet Ramsey in yes. that whole case. Yeah, that's a bad example. That they was didn't one of those care things. about her. She has a privileged because little white know, girl. We know about it. You knew and, about and it. We do know about but it. But was there this big outrage of people going, well, they got to find out that the parents are doing it? No, you know what? Cares. That Jean Benet Ramsey situation is almost in as big as as OJ. It's huge, right? And it's people huge. do care about that girl. That might have transcended it. The little girl in Florida with the pink little Kango hat. I'm gonna tell you who who black people fell for. Who? The, that that girl that just got on on at the car wash. You you fell oh, for wow. that girl. Oh man, that was a bad that, one. Watching that girl's into that girl's life, you fucking yeah. go, oh my god. You hauled away I'm by that saying monster. That, I'm, I'm not saying. Yeah, but that goes that goes to a whole another level because there's actual video going. Oh my if god, that was a black this is girl. human life, and this is the last yeah. maybe hour of her human life on TV. You see the if last. If that was of a black life. girl being hauled away like that, I think you'd have seen a lot more. You'd have seen the same coverage like that. I, I really do think that because it was so sensational that you saw the last yeah, so, portion of her, of her so life in there. in the moment. I think, and, that, I think that goes to a whole nother and level. And then we feel... almost transcended that thing to, well, she's human, we're human. Wait, people... So I can then feel some uh, sympathy towards that. Let me that. be fair and, 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 and let me clear up what, I'm, what the problem is. Mm -hmm. The problem is not that M M Mehmed or Natalie uh, Holloway, is, they're dead. But and, and 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 going to OJ, it's not that OJ didn't kill his wife, and it's not that you don't feel bad for that whole situation. Yeah. It's the fact that wait a minute, how are you prioritizing like that woman's life to the life of some lady that if you're gonna prioritize life, prioritize all life, mm -hmm. and like these children, it's it's not. I'm not saying oh oh a black girl got killed, fuck the white girl. I'm saying well the black girl got killed too. Can we at least have as yeah. much concern for her life as opposed to you know you get I there's no way that a little girl should get mm -hmm. killed and 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 you and be in the news so much that you get tired you go what the fuck is does this bitch have gold <laughs> inside is this bitch no with black beard she does she have government secrets <laughs> like you shouldn't get tired of hearing about a dead, a dead girl. girl right where you go oh enough of that dead right. girl enough mm -hmm. like now the parents are it's it's like they they're trying to you know take the take this thing to court you know yeah. in New York and and you're like oh, enough already enough of the girl. man Shushton move on yeah it's because like there's other people dead there's other people getting killed there's other people dying just look just at say, the, you know you're right give everybody fair you're right fucking you're right something. you're right but look at the way the news works and the only place we really hear about it is the news where else are you gonna hear about it your friend right so you hear about it on the news the news admittedly a business looking to bring in the most people possible what story is going to get them more ratings if, if they said that and it does look if racist if they said that i think that the country would be happier if they go tonight in news um, uh little white girls missing because yeah. more people will probably be concerned tune in about uh, this and, and the then we can tell our advertisers that more people are going to tune in for the white girl story uh more affluent people are going to tune in for the white girl story so that's what we're doing it's more about money than it is racism. Demographics. That's, uh, yeah. If they said that, then they could be. We could be happy. If they said that, there'd be a fucking revolution. But it, 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 no, it wouldn't because it's already a revolution of people going, "What the fuck? What, where's where's the missing black people already?" Like you just want a little it keeps, honesty. It keeps people yeah. divided because we're like, okay, going back to American Idol. I'm saying this country's not voting for a black sissy as their idol. Now you go, no, I don't think so. But if America goes, you know, when I voted, I just didn't like it. He was an arrogant black sissy. I liked the little boy. Mm -hmm. uh, f you know what? I can't battle honesty. <laughs> yeah. I can battle fucking but, uh, d dishonesty. Or not dishonesty, but uh, uh, what's the... But that's the, that's the beauty of this whole thing. You're never going to get honesty from your media. Never. Even from the average white person. Never. Yeah. No, you won't. 
You're not going to get it. Right. Right. Average white person say the fucking white truth. White people are very scared, to be honest, with, uh, they make me with black with people. They make fake with, bullshit. With, uh, uh, with black people. Did I mention black people? <laughs> We're very scared of black people. Why are you so mad at OJ? Uh, is it because a black man killed a white woman and got away with it? No, it has nothing to do with race. Nothing. People are very, they walk on eggshells. White people, uh, on the whole, walk on eggshells when dealing with black issues, black subject matter, black people. It's an eggshell thing. And a lot of black people are to blame for that, to put it, for putting Whitey in that position. We don't. Where the, the race war is between liberals and conservatives. Black people are like, hello, um, we're the issue here. And, and, and you got liberals and conservatives arguing with each about other about how, how to fucking right. treat niggas. Well, I'm, I'm in the room. You. I'm in the room. <laughs> right, listen, let's get some phone calls in. Cause oh, shit. They're going nuts out there. Jane in Pennsylvania, what's up? Make it fast. Hey, guys. I just wanted to say I have to agree with Anthony in that uh, I think the media plays on what we want to hear, what we want to see. Um, if it was a black girl that was disappearing from a school trip in Aruba, I think it would be all over the place. But, you know, I think the reality is that kids disappear every day in that. You think that was shown you know, as much? I don't think no, no, no I don't think a black uh, girl disappearing in Aruba would have gotten as much coverage not as, even uh, as a blonde drop. white girl. Not a I don't a think so. American nope, no, I, no, nope, no, 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 don't think so. No, no, nope, nope. I gotta no be way. honest with you. I don't. I wouldn't see that happening. But I don't see that as being completely racist. You could see it as racist by association, but I see it more as a business decision as a demographic decision by the news than it is going, we don't care about this person really, uh, so let's just not address the issue. I think that's the media making that call. Not, yeah, not, of course. No, not humans. Like I'm not media. saying, see, don't get me wrong. Okay. I'm not saying that the human factor, if yeah. it was a little black girl and they showed her her last seconds, right. I felt that, that I felt for that girl. That, uh -huh. it, you, 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 your heart goes out to that girl. You're Just, not, you're it not, was sad. No matter what the fuck she was. No matter I think who she was. Right. You're man, not human was, if you don't uh, feel right, in that moment. I'm saying, th the point is, if it was a little black girl in Aruba, just... Just give it the same. Oh, she's God. missing. That yeah. ain't gonna happen. Anytime ain't gonna happen. Soon. And if and if it doesn't, just say. Even with here's why it ain't gonna happen. Big <laughs> shot. Even with Natalie Holloway, they were probably wishing she was even hotter. <laughs> yeah, because she was kind of like, ah, uh, man, she's like a seven. But yeah, uh, we can run if with you want to see missing niggas, read the Amsterdam <laughs> News, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> the damn news. You go to 125th Street and get a right, free listen. copy of something. Listen. Here, look at the back of the Daily Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Let's Read Al Shopton's blog if you want to hear about missing nigglets. <laughs> Let's go to George in New York City. George. Yo. Hey. Just wanted to correct Anthony on something. Okay. They put little black girls on the back of uh, chocolate milk cartons. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, guys, wait, 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 it's been almost. 20 minutes. We need a joke, <laughs> man. We need a joke. <laughs> but oh, 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 we're going to oh, really really put a silencer on this one. That's another old-ass <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> old, he was couldn't wait to say that. This a faceless motherfucker punching out. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> Probably works with somebody black. He just said <laughs> that. joke was handed to me when I was in my crib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. You're gonna need this one someday. He could, he could have just beam that mentally to you. <laughs> Let's go, to Joe in New York. Joe, <laughs> Joe, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, you're Come on, man. man. We're on a good up? roll What's here. Up? It's an honor, bro. It's an honor. Cool. Not you know, for us. The media is so afraid of betraying a black guy as like the the, the bad guy. Are they really? They Let's look at the front cover of the fucking Daily News today. With well, that guy is a bad with, guy. With Mr. Nigga who ain't did shit yet on the front cover. But. All he, over the spectrum, bro. He did it. Let's the guy be honest. Did it. Let's relax. The guy he, did it. They, I, I will say there are white guy crimes. I will be fair. Pedophilia the reason, is uh, exclusive to you, white guy crime. White, white guy crime. When a black person is a victim, it's always another black person that fucked them up. Ah, That's why they're not, not always. On, the, on the news. Not in the news. Now, okay, when a black person is a victim, a yeah. he's only a victim when a white guy does something right. fucked up. Absolutely. I will be fair. Other times, I've thumbed through the paper, gotten to page 27, a little column. You hear about some cookout going out in the backyard somewhere in Brooklyn, <laughs> and there's three dead in a shooting, <laughs> and you know it was just a bunch of black guys with a problem with just each other. doing what they do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to cook out, and the motherfuckers are shooting shit. <laughs> And you know because it was on page twenty eight. I that, will be fair that yeah. race is, is, a, is it is a it is a ploy to sell. I understand that mm -hmm. shit, but yep. this like but say it. Like there won't be a revolution. That kind of honesty if would you be come great. out just like we was talking about coke. 
if what could you say to honesty? Uh, you know what? Uh, it just we found <laughs> that when 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 we put on um, black people uh, missing, mm -hmm. here's what people want to hear about black people. We they, we want to we've done research. Uh, we want to hear rap stories. Mm -hmm. Good uh, stories about rappers. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm tuned in. Rappers. Um, getting arrested. Um, I'm right there. Um, we've shown that the people aren't really interested in missing black children. No one. Mm -hmm. uh, they love missing white children. Yeah. They love white children in some sort of danger that may not or may or may not have happened. <laughs> um, black criminals, we are interested in rapists, black rapists, mm -hmm. because that's a, a visceral fear of white people. It's the scariest and thing on the planet, by the way. We would love black pedophiles, but there's not any that we can find. Um, there's a black guy, I'm sure somebody go, remember that nigga in Atlanta in 61? That, that guy's right always there. brought up. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Well, whenever serial killers are brought Charles, up. Or, or, uh -oh. yeah. Charles something, right? Uh oh, remember? Remember, remember that nigga in Atlanta? <laughs> oh, really? Remember the 47 white boys last week? <laughs> Look at you and your stereotyping. <laughs> that is so true, though. Sons of bitches, but, man. We got, but, we got them all let me tell you something. You gotta accept that half of it. With with a little weight on your side, there are those serial killers, older white guy or middle aged white guy with some sexual problem with his mom is gonna go out and kill hookers and kids and pedophiles are gonna be the creepy fucking glasses wearing teacher squeezing little girl asses white guy, but there are certain crimes that are just for you black guys, not always exclusively. I'm sure you could pull up another Atlanta thing like that. But but that's the one you want us you want uh, they want to see this this guy this this uh 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 Daryl Littlejohn because it's they, a white girl they, because it's a white girl so that really taps in horrifying to the, to the thing that we're trying to get out of the monster movie that that oh my yeah. god oh big we I can imagine his eyes bugging out he yeah. was sweating you play it out in your head the horror that she was living through and and and, oh. and, and that's what they want I. I agree with you, Opie, on that shit. But I'm mm -hmm. saying, f fucking just be honest with the motherfucker. That's where you're just silly. You're not going to get honest. That, type, that type of honesty doesn't happen on the planet honest. It never <laughs> would happen. It, impossibility. On, on, on Liar Liarville, <laughs> it wouldn't <laughs> Never. Oh, it's just fuck, not man. happening. All right. You know what?